What's going on guys, Dean and Beat Dan, I'm back with more Persona 3 Portable. Last time, what did we do last time? Oh, let's see, we hung out with, uh, so, so, Saisuke, 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 that was it. I don't know where I got Saisuke or Saisuke, okay, well, I know where I got Saisuke from, but anyways, and we fed the cat that we've been continuously feeding for some time now. So, we've already fed the cat today, so let's... Let's go hang out with someone because frankly I need a I need a little break from all the tartarusing. Tart tartarusing. Tartar sauce. Tartar saucing. I promise I know what I'm doing. Don't look at me like I'm crazy. In fact, someone we're very close to finishing. Let's let's actually go hang out with Chihiro, shall we? Why, yes, I would love some company, and I have power. <laughs> Women love power! Yay! As we recall, she was having money troubles with, uh... Like, money got stolen or something? Chihiro is remaining quiet. Well, there is an announcement. Attention, please. Sophomore Chihiro Fushimi and Junior Makoto Yuki, the student council president would like to speak with you. Please go to the student council room immediately. Oh great! Mitsuru wants to talk with us. This can only end well. I repeat again. The president wants to speak with me? D don't tell me the president thinks I stole the money too. If there's one thing I know, Mitsuru wouldn't be like that. So it's fine. Perfectly fine. Don't worry. She'll help us. R right. She will, won't she? Shihiro seems hopeful. If I talk to her, at least I won't have to trouble you anymore, Makoto-san. You decide to go to the student council room with Shihiro. Not that I have much of a choice since, uh, you know, I got called too. <laughs> My name was in that announcement. I don't have much of a choice. Student council room. Good, you two are here. I apologize for the sudden announcement. The reason I called you here is... Y you think I stole the money? Fushimi. I'd like to hear the whole story directly from you. I, um, I, I... Koto-san. Jiro's asking you for help with her eyes. I could. I could help her, but... But, it's time that she try and defend herself this time. Makoto-san, all right, I'll be strong. Chihiro nodded firmly. I, I... Chihiro's lip is trembling. It's okay, Fushimi. It's not necessarily someone who's good at counting money who makes the best treasurer. I prefer someone who will work diligently without complaining. From what I've seen in the student council, Chihiro, it's obvious that you didn't take the money. Th thank you, Miss President. I was just testing you. In a situation like this, I'm afraid you have to prove your innocence. Do you think you can do that? It it's difficult to say this, and I I'll probably regret it, but... but I don't think I can do it. Never be embarrassed of who you are. Allow me to take care of it. It's my responsibility as student council president. Now, give me a hand, will you, Yuki? Alright, I mean, I'm game for anything that clears her name. I'd like to know more about Fushimi, and I've seen you two together after school. I want to prove to those who suspect her that even outside of the school she behaves respectively. Oh. Yuki, I'll leave... <laughs> I'll leave tonight open. Come to my room when you're free. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Moving a little fast now, aren't we? Damn! <laughs> Try not to be seen by anyone. Oh, shit! And you want no one to see us? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I kill a look in her eyes. The bloodlust is rising! P please wait! Th that means... You two will be meeting alone. I don't want to make things worse. Even in the dorm, there are students who spread rumors- Junpei! 
N no that's unacceptable. I won't let you do it. Fushimi? Get away from him. Oh god, she's finally cracked. That bloodlust has me has <laughs> the bloodlust has finally taken over and she hungers for the blood of the innocents. There's no way I'll agree to that. If I can clear my name, it won't be necessary, right? I'm going to talk to the teacher. Fushimi. Well, at <laughs> faculty office, Chihiro is drawing close to Mr. Tucking his uh, fuck names with a knife, hoping to slit open his throat and quench her unquenchable bloodlust. I clearly remember what happened that day. You had a bandage on your chin because you cut yourself while shaving. I handed the free money to you directly. Do you expect me to just pretend that never happened? Calm down, Fushimi. Please explain, or else. S sorry, it's all my fault. Way to go! First you caused Kaz problems, now you're causing Chihiro problems. Son of a bitch, why are you still employed here? Well, at least you're not as bad as the other guy, I suppose. Or else someone important to me will... Huh? Um... Well, that's it. I had to stay late. I missed my train. I didn't have any money on me, so I used what you collected to pay for a taxi. What? I fully intend to return the money, but then I forgot. I'm bad like that. I must be getting old, huh? <laughs> oh god, please. Please pull the knife away from my throat. It, it's not funny. Don't worry, I'll explain to the class what happened and return the money. So please forgive me, Chihiro. I assumed it was just a misunderstanding, but... This is inexcusable. You call yourself a teacher. Oh god. Now Mitsuru's fangs have been bared. Prepare to take the blood of this innocent man. Misappropriation of public funds is a serious crime. I will report this immediately. Please don't. It's okay, Mitsuru-san. I've sedated my bloodlust, and now I need only the soul of a virgin. What? Everyone makes mistakes. If that's the case, then I'll... Let's go, Makoto-san. Okay, we're not gonna see the end of that. Um, we're just gonna go... Okay, rooftop! Makoto-san, over here. Can you believe I went to the faculty office and said all that? I even surprised myself. Giggle. So you are guilty! Oh, that would be dumb. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Chihiro seems to be having fun after physically abusing at or <laughs> verbally abusing a teacher. <laughs> oh god. Remember what I said to Mitsuru-san? Get away from him? I, I was worried that what might happen to you if Mitsuru-san were alone together. She might ravage your body and then I would have to rip out her uterus. What? Nothing! I was so flustered I almost passed out. I'm pretty weird, huh? I've been like that ever since I was a kid. Or so my mother says. I- oh, whoops. I think it was, I'm normally quiet, something, something, something. I wish this was like any other visual novel where I could just go back and like look at the text, whatever. I've been talking to my mother about you, Makoto-san, and she wants to meet you. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, I don't do well at parent meeting. Um, I'm gonna go now, okay, thanks, buddy. <laughs> Would you like to come over to my house one day? You know, when you're not busy? You feel as if Chihiro has confessed her true feelings. The relationship is stronger now. <laughs> she, confessed, she confessed her true feelings of wanting to murder a man. Yeah, we're now ranked 9. The friendship with Chihiro has intensified. Oh, I still have to apologize to Mitsuru-san. And, um, I think I owe her an explanation. Excuse me. Bye. I'm just gonna go back to the dorm now. Too much crazy stuff. Gonna go lay down. Whoa, hello. <laughs> that... That ringtone! Hello, this is Elizabeth. I'm calling to inform you of a change in Tartarus. 
I believe a path that was blocked is now open. I thought you would like to know. I wish you a safe journey. Thanks, Elizabeth. Welcome back. Hi, Mitsuru. Hopefully Chihiro didn't, like, gut you or anything afterwards. Each full moon, the shadows are getting stronger. They are employing more dangerous attacks as well. So even though we have a lot of time until the next full moon, we'd best use that time wisely. And by use it wisely, you mean go, uh, go talk with more people. Okay, I gotcha. I'm on this. Yeah. I'm gonna go into town, okay? Thanks, bye. Oh, while we're on the subject, let's, uh, whoops. <laughs> that was not the button. Let's actually go speak with Elizabeth again so I can take a look at her request more thoroughly this time. Alright, retrieve the third old document. Relic fragments. Funky school music. Yes! Love funky school music. Uh, it doesn't have a date on it, so... Alright, I guess... I guess, really, none of these matter. Cool. Uh, yeah, I guess they don't. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Cool. So, I guess I'll just leave them open for now. Alright. I was just making sure there was no timed one that we'd have to get by, like, a certain time. Except for those, of course. The, uh, the ones where I have to go into Tartarus and do shit. Anyways, today seems like a good relaxing time. Let's go talk with our friend the monk. The hell's the club? There it is. I need to go chill at the- oh wait. Fuck! I need a tower. Do I have a tower? I think I do. Uh, emperor, strength, hermit, chariot, fool, devil, magician, chariot, and fortune, I can assume. Well, cool. Need a tower. <laughs> Welcome back. Hi. What can I fuse together to make shit? Oh, give me that. I don't have you. Doing it. Please don't get all weird wild guard on me. Oh, thank god. Regular fusion. Cool. <laughs> this persona seems to be holding something within itself. <laughs> I was born of thee and I shall walk by thy side. You have no arms. I just want you to be aware of that. <laughs> we have a hanged man, which I'm gonna need anyways. Uh, yeah, go ahead. What changed? Uh, provoke change to stagnant air. I don't know what that does. Cool. All right. Uh, let's see if I can make anything else. What did I need? I need a tower. That was it. All right. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to pull anything else out of those. So that means I must go to the compendium. Compendium. I request your need for a tower. None of these are a tower. So we gotta have a tower around here. Chariot, Justice, Hermit, Fortune, Strength, Hanged, Temperance, Devil. Okay. Magician, Priestess, Emperor, Hierophant, Lovers, Chariot, Justice. Oh no, wait, that's right. I couldn't get a tower because the closest tower was like level 31, I think. That's what the problem was. Okay. Cool. I think. Let's go. Let's go chat out with the monk and figure out what level the uh, persona is. How about you? Uh, check social link. Yeah. Elegor is the closest and he's level 31. Well, shit. <laughs> Alright. I guess we're spending time with Matsu. Tatsu. I thought your face looked familiar. You here again, kid? Even Buddha's not that forgiven. Alright, that's it. I'm gonna hand you over to the bouncer and... Well, there's no Buddha in this world, so... Alright, kid. 
Stop looking at me like that and sit down. Yay! <laughs> so tell me, is it fun presenting an old monk like me whose own wife and kid left him? How come you're always alone when I see you? Don't you got any friends, kid? Of course I do, but they're all busy at home doing regular stuff, and I'm out speaking to random people. <laughs> I don't have any friends! Which I suppose is kind of a lie, but whatever. I don't have any friends. <laughs> Either you like being alone or you got problems. In any case, well said. No hesitations whatsoever. <laughs> he seems amused. Don't worry if you don't have any friends. Most of life's troubles have to do with others. Comforting. Let's define a friend as someone you hold dear. True friendship. It's seen through the heart, kid, not the eyes. People always want something in a relationship. They always, they really only, they only really love themselves. You don't call someone who doesn't like you your friend, do ya? No, you don't. Unless you're Shiro, and in which case he calls uh, Shinji his friend. Why, I don't know. Cause you know you won't get nothing from him, right? Which means in this world, there's no one you can hold dear. At the end of the lonely road of love, kid, you're the only one left standing there. What you see those dames over there? The ones on the dance floor? If you bring one of them, o uh, run of them over here, I'll be your friend in return, eh? What do you think? Comforting. <laughs> Matatsu seems to trust you. You understand him better now. He's an alcoholic and a pervert. Getting sleepy. Too tired to go to talk to him, eh? <laughs> you look like you're gonna doze off any second now. Go home for now, kid. You're gonna come back again anyway, even if I tell you not to, right? Well, you're pretty right about that. <laughs> you decide to go back to the dorm. It is now Friday. You're not tired anymore. Yay! <laughs> Class is beginning. Blah, blah, blah. Magic and shit. Uh, today's topic is Magic Medieval Europe! Goody. So, Christianity, Zimazar. Yay! I love talking about magic and stuff! You bravely reached out for connection with gods. Wake. Uh, get it wrong, see a scary guardian angel. Shoes, right, Makoto, I ask thee. What is the mystical study of Jewish texts? Um. Uh. Uh, uh, K word, blah blah blah, something, I don't know. Very good, the magicians of age achieve great things, particularly the famous grimoires. Collections of wide range of magical texts. Yay, charm increased, not that it needed to. Social link showdown, what? Oh, hi, Fuka. I don't know. I might be free. I we'll just have to see how it goes. Please don't poison me. You did so well last time. All right, and uh, that's gonna be it for now. So <laughs> next time, I think yeah, we actually do get to hang out with Fuka. So until then, I'll catch you all later. Asta. I will. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Persona 3 Portable. If you've liked this episode, be sure to leave it a like and share it with all of your friends. To stay up to date with all my latest content, please hit the subscribe button. Now it's time to continue going out into the city or Tartarus to master our social links, few stronger personas, until we can unravel the answer that is our destiny.